Next up is uh, Jules Dassin's Refifi. I think I'm saying that right. Um, looks like a gangster film. If anybody's read my channel, uh, they know that I'm a big uh, gangster fanatic. So, of course, I wanted to see this one. And that's spine number 115. Next up is The Vanishing by George Sluizer. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I probably butchered it. Um, I'd seen the 1988, I believe, or this is from the 80s, uh, remake. But I've always wanted to see the original spine number 133. So I'm glad to have that in my collection, finally. Um, film I saw a few years back, uh, David Cronenberg's Videodrome. I've always wanted it in my collection, but I wanted the uh, Criterion 248. And I like how that looks like a videotape. It's awesome. Um, step on the back. Comes with a nice booklet, it says. Glad to finally have that. Uh, next is uh, the French film Baudus Safe from Drowning. Um, spine number 305 from 1932. Um, this is uh, essentially the original. Uh, what they made in the 80s, the remake would be called, you know, Down and Out in Beverly Hills. Same story. But of course, um, I wanted to see the original by Jean Renoir. Next up is uh, Shoot the Piano Player by Francois Truffaut. Um, this is spine number 315. And I'm probably butchering these names to all heck, but, you know, I'm trying. Uh, it's a two disc set. I believe this was uh, labeled as, you know, um, a gangster film as well, so of course I was going to pick that one up. Now I thought I'd heard this one had gone out of print, so when I saw Barnes & Noble's offering it, I, I jumped at the chance. Uh, 43, and this is The Lord of the Flies. Uh, now I have seen this. I th think this is an excellent film. I really had no interest in seeing the remake. Um, this one was so well done and quite disturbing if I can recall. Next up is another uh, Japanese cinema, uh, The Pornographers by Shuhai Imamura. I believe I got that right. Uh, Spine 207. Um, this film is from 1966, I believe. Uh, just another one of those um, really risque, I believe, uh, Japanese films for its time. Love Japanese cinema. I believe I've said that several times. All right, next is one of the newer ones. It's a double film set by Yasujiro Ozu. Uh, containing the films The Only Son and There Was a Father. And those are spine numbers 525 and 526 um, from 1936 and 1942. And when I saw these announced, I, I, I just had to get these. I have almost, you know, every film offered through the Criterion Collection for um, director Ozu. So, I'm happy to have that in my collection as well. All right, I only got about a couple more left in here and I'm gonna to try to wrap this up before I run out of time. But I have to thank Mr. Joel 450 because this is his favorite film and I'm solely going on his recommendation uh, and that would be um, Robert Altman's uh, Three Women starring, starring Sissy Spacek and Shelley Duvall. Now I love Sissy Spacek so I'm probably sure I'll like this film. Um, but I promised Mr. Joel 450, uh, also known as Jesus, that as soon as I watched it, I would um, give him my thoughts on the film. So I got the film, buddy. You'll be hearing from me soon. And the last is a Blu-ray for uh, Kira Kurosawa's Sanjuro. Uh, I've never had this in my collection, and I'm happy to have it now. Spine number 53. 
I'm sorry, and uh, three women with spine number 230. And that's it. And as usual, please leave your comments, your suggestions, your um, remarks of any sort, anything you'd like to see. I've been getting um, a lot of requests to do my classics and show more of my Criterion films. Um, I'm probably I'm probably going to do that since I've gone through all of this right now. Um, tomorrow I'll probably be uh, bringing you my weekly uh, DVD, you know, Blu-ray update. And um, so, and I wanted to say thank you to all the subscribers I've gotten over the weekend. Man, that's just massive, and I'm so impressed. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, uh, take it easy.